We are back right yes. here with internationally renowned musician, Mr. David Garrett. Welcome back. Good to Thank have you, you with us. Much. Good to have you, you, you already back. played a little something for the audience. It's great. Um, this new CD that you yes. have out, why was this an important CD for you to do? Well, it is uh, first uh, a core classical album, and uh, after uh, releasing three uh, crossover CDs here in America, um, I'm very happy that finally one of the core classical albums made its way over here. Um, in Europe, I've always tried to do it 50-50. For some reason, there was a lot of more uh, crossover projects here scheduled for the United States, but finally I get to do what I uh, really also love to do, play some classical music. That's yeah, great. It's been, it's been a huge success. Exactly. Yeah. That's a, like a weapon right there. Have you ever taken out poor Marcus's eye with that um, thing? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> said, but almost. he plays well, so... Uh, <laughs> it keeps on going. Maybe, maybe if he maybe changes he that up. Right. <laughs> Whack got, him a couple of times. We have to talk about the, the new album, Legacy. Uh, it's breaking records everywhere. Number one over in the UK yeah. and then uh, platinum status over in Germany. Are you surprised by the success or at this point are you just happy that it's gotten to where you want it to be? I think success, you, can, you cannot plan it. I mean, everything you have to do in life uh, needs to have a purpose and you have to be passionate about and put your, your heart into it. And if it happens to be successful, it's, it's of course a wonderful thing. Right. But of course it always comes a little bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm very excited about the, the good kind of uh, reception it's getting. That's great. Do you, do you think of yourself as a perfectionist? Because after you played that first number, we, we say what we say to every single guest. Do you want to hey, if you guys want to do it again, you can. And you were like, no, that was mm -hmm. it. That's what we wanted to do. And it sounded, per I mean, it sounded like a recording here in the studio. Do you think of yourself as a perfectionist? Absolutely. I think you always have to find your uh, high standards and your, your, your limits. And um, there's no sense in repeating something. I think if you practice and prepare it, that's it. And especially coming from classical music, you don't get a second shot on stage, <laughs> yeah. right. you play it and whatever happens, happens, so you better be prepared. Given your, your track record, the success that you've had, not only with this album, but just in general, are you happy and, and surprised to see that people really want to hear more of this kind of music, especially when today mm. so much of it is just manufactured? It's, it's you know... I think this is, it's a beautiful thing that music becomes, again, more acoustic and, and people really try to get away from uh, a little bit uh, the you project of, projects of it. the 90s yeah. which were very uh, record uh, company driven right and um, I think these days it's it's a wonderful eclectic mix of, of musicians everything is getting uh, fusing together and um, I think it's a I think also classical music for, uh, suddenly also have, has a great platform you know and I think young people also appreciate it well uh, appreciate we appreciate having you here because yeah. half the crew all the women are just dying over you they are huh? Just and letting all, you know. It's all about the music. It's all about the music. <laughs> yeah. 